We're seeing the Nokia's, Huawei's, Ericsson's, who are either looking at acquisitions or you know, there are a lot of startups in that area, in particular, particularly the kind of NFV, SDN, um, core, RAM, um, applications type side. This is kind of hilarious. It's 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 a short queue for the baggage uh, drop off. There are only probably about one, two, three, four, about four hundred people in front of us. Four hundred. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I got myself a ticket to fly with the Airbus A380, 380, 800, 380, 800, and um, it's going to be a trip to Dubai. Now, it's, this time it's not only business, it's, it's kind of pleasure as well. One of the things to do in Dubai is a meeting with Peter Clements, different on this trip is I'm flying with him. That's the next flight to Hong Kong. Present position is 0022 hours. Time to destination is 30 minutes. Local time of destination is 22 minutes, and my wife is pointing at me. So. <laughs> the ground speed is 345 miles an hour. <laughs> Temperature is 12.2 degrees. So we'll probably end up in a finger pointing uh, this discussion here, but um, basically, that's where we want to go. <coughs> one lunch later, two beers, one gin tonic, and um, two snacks. Uh, we leave the airplane to Dubai, and um, basically, we're now heading off to the um, to the driver. That direction. This is kind of interesting. We just arrived at Dubai Airport. There should be a, a chauffeur waiting for us. We were told to go to the right, straight from the customs, um, but there's no chauffeur. All set? Yeah. When we're lucky, we're in bed around four ish. Two hours sleep. Waking up at six. No problem. How many hours of travel after a lot of hours travel? And the taxi driver didn't know the way. Forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Let's see if she's there. This is that.
about five minutes. I'm gonna meet Peter Clements. Um, not here. I'm gonna meet Peter in the Dubai Mall, which is just over there. I just arrived here at this location. Change clothes, go to the mall. Probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes walk. Let's see if uh, Peter Clements has already arrived. This is the entrance of the mall. While I was walking at the ground level, Clemens already did see me walking as he is in the first floor, where we are right now. So you film Mr. Clemens! You film your whole <laughs> how, life. How are you? You film your whole life. I film my whole life, <laughs> yes. How are you, sir? Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are, yeah. you, are you not hot? I'm sweating like... Yeah, but in here it's not as hot as it is outside. Yeah, but you keep the warmth a little bit for a few moments in your body, right? When you come outside yeah. from, from outside. Oh, you're used to it. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I, it's, it was a little bit chilly back in the UK over the weekend. I so heard, yeah, I heard, so. yeah. You better be here. Please. Dear <laughs> me, every, you film everything. Can you Mocha. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, Las Vegas. Um, yeah. We met in the first hour of the IWCE. Yeah, a, a total coincidence. <laughs> 20 yeah, yeah. seconds. There was it was meeting. 20 seconds. Yeah. It was t about 20 seconds. For me to have a meeting that's less than <laughs> 20 minutes is... You spoke 15 count. seconds of the 20 seconds. Yeah. Um, but we were talking about you know, what's going to happen. It's, it's, there's a lot of things are happening in the industry yeah. more than ever before. What are your takeaways from Las Vegas? <laughs> silence. Silence, yeah. The, the first time of silence, I think, yeah. Um, things are changing. So you're, we're seeing kind of new partnerships being formed, which is, I think, what I would expect. But we're not quite at that stage, like the next stage that we need. So we have um, some degree of consolidation within the traditional Alemar. PMR industry, so the Tetras, P25s, DMRs. So we're seeing some con the Hytera, Supura mm -hmm. kind of playing out at the moment. I think also on the LTE 5G side, we're seeing the Nokia's, Huawei's, Ericsson's, who are either looking at acquisitions or you know, that there are a lot of startups in that area, in particular, particularly the kind of NFV, SDN. Um, core, RAM, um, applications type side. So we're starting to see some consolidation in the separate areas. The interesting next stage that we will, I think over the next two to three years is that we will finally start seeing the Tetra P25 players and the LTE 5G players starting to come closer together, understand each other, maybe some M&A, maybe some closer cooperation. So we're starting to see the beginnings of that. I think with, so you had the, the Harris tapes. Maybe it's still um, early days. So we were expecting the Motorola's, the Airbuses to um, kind of be moving more in that direction but, but I think there's, maybe a, there's a lot of there are a lot of smaller organizations yeah. like well smaller Kodiak yeah. uh, Mobile Tornado ES Chat Zello a lot of other suppliers delivering let's say critical communication solutions based on LTE uh, yeah. do you think they will be trendsetters for the larger organization or they will be bought or purchased or acquired by these organizations it's interesting I think it's sim we saw in the for example, in the IoT space, we saw the Sigfoxes, the Weightlesses, a lot of other um, proprietary solutions and a lot of IP intellectual property within this space. And then within 3GPP, 
um, the release 13, we started to see um, MBIOT, we started to see um, the standardization of the IoT space. So probably within um, the, also within release 13, we've seen the big push towards verticals, towards applications, with critical communications, now, our particular industry as one of the early kind of network slices, as you were, that mm -hmm. is kind of evolving towards the future. So what we're seeing there is, as you say, there are a number of um, kind of newer companies, smaller companies that are actually um, developing um, some of the, the core technology, some of the applications, some of the solutions that are then and now will probably be courted by um, some of the, the larger companies who are looking to defend themselves um, from no, whatever, from the tsunami that is probably going to wash over a lot of them over the next five to ten years.